Hi, Jared Yeager from the Post Millennial. Uh, I have a question regarding MAID. So the federal government recently postponed the expansion of MAID to those with uh, mental health conditions until after the election. Uh, what's your response to this? And what will the conservative government's policy be regarding MAID and mental health? We're against MAID for the sole reason of mental illness. So, you know, Justin Trudeau is once again a pursuit of radical agenda that is totally out of step with the values of Canadians. Uh, he has pushed for medical assistance in dying for people whose only condition is mental illness. Let's be consider what this means. If someone is mentally ill, they have no other ailments. Justin Trudeau would suggest that they could consider a lethal injection. This while we have an addiction crisis. Addiction is a mental illness. So first, when we have people addicted to drugs, what does Trudeau and the NDP say? Give them more opioids. Prescribe them fentanyl, which is 100 times more powerful than heroin. And then when that totally obliterates their lives and destroys their families, leaves them on the streets, and they're totally hopeless, he says, well, maybe we can treat you with a lethal injection. That will end your depression. Well, it sure, it will end their life. Uh, common sense conservatives will bring treatment, detox, and recovery to bring our loved ones home drug-free, and we will not expand MAID to include mental illness. Pierre Poilievre's strong opposition to extending medical assistance and dying, MAID, to include mental illness. It raises ethical questions about prioritizing dignity in life and allowing assisted death only for those with mental health issues. Poilievre's argument is critiqued for advocating lethal injection exclusively for mentally ill individuals, sparking debates about autonomy and self-determination. His criticism of Justin Trudeau's stance is seen as radical and not in line with Canadian values, especially regarding concerns about government overreach in sensitive areas like assisted death. The article suggests a need for a thorough examination of Poilier's critique of the healthcare system's response to addiction and its reflection of broader concerns about mental health services, efficacy, and accessibility. Poilievre's emphasis on providing treatment, detoxification, and recovery for addiction is viewed within the framework of democratic values, stressing individual responsibility and non-lethal solutions to health care and addiction issues.